sir. What about the marketing aspect of your product? I think what is the kind of distributions that you have? What are the channels of distributions that you are having? That's also a very interesting story. When I, uh, you know, started marketing my products, yeah, cable TV, I, I started with the homes. Then I started making dealers in cable TV. It was a slow and gradually I started uh, making in cable TV. The same people I started selling the inverters also. So it was a very tough them, thing for them, and I realized that the inverters cannot be sold by those guys because cable TV guys are, you know, very different from uh, inverter guys. So I started started looking for manufacturers who were manufacturing uh, uh, inverters. So we went to them. We said, "Okay, boss, this is what we want to sell you." He said, "No, no, te this technology will not work." I said, "No problem. Just keep it. We opened it, product, show them because it was what what we made was much different than what was being made at by those people." So we went to them. We showed them the product two, three times, five times. They kept the product and they never, you know, even gave me the money. Kept the product, but he can copy it and but we kept on going to those people and slowly 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 we converted those manufacturers into our distribution network and today most of my distributors are the people who are the manufacturers in the inverter industry it was a tough thing but i don't think um, did that tough we kept on you know uh, you know and 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 i think the best thing we got was the advantage we got was that we were uh, we made the product which was much different than what they made cost was lower but at that time we didn't sell at a lower cost because our manufacturing cost was much higher numbers were not there but they could see that there's a difference between what they were making and and it was very difficult to convince them initially because they said when we made the first inverter it was for 500 watt it was single battery and they were making two battery inverter and then we said that from whatever your backup you are getting from two batteries we are giving you from single battery almost they were inefficient inverters what they were making but charges were bad and when we we showed them the product and they worked it for one month two months three months slowly slowly they got into that confidence mode it was it was tough but it was not impossible so we kept on you know change because we realized that if you make a distributor to somebody else they don't understand so they will not be able to install it and we didn't have any installation teams we didn't have any service team at that time so it made a sense for us to you know make the distributors to those people only who are already in the field and in the field at that time there were no distribution network all manufacturers i mean everybody used to make 15 inverters a year or 100 inverters a year or 500 inverters a year and he used to sell that so he had his own team of five people six people servicing and they used to you know work accordingly it was an unorganized industry so there was no sales force as such available so we got people who who were in came in contact with me and even if we have not sold anything in life i just got him and you know go to the field and you know i initially i used to go myself all the distribution network was created generally say you can say 30 40 percent was created by me initially because i used to go and convince people and whenever i used to send somebody else people were not convinced <laughs> so so I created that network and then I hired people and then sent them and it was all non-technical guys. And I also not realized that these non-technical guys will not be able to because we only got the advantage of technology. I say that we are here because of the R&D. I am here because of the R&D. My products are always different than what market was doing. So once that mentality was built by the distributors that these people are making something which is always new and they are always bringing new technologies. So that thing was there in my, their mind. So those people were not that important, but they were going, they're doing distribution and because we didn't hire the people in the right way, we just hired anybody and everybody and non-technical people. So they were going in the market, they're working, but you know, there was always a mismanagement on that front. But some of the product was so strong, technology was so strong that people kept on buying the product. So we improved the technology, we improved the factories, distribution network we did later on.